now we are going to see about postings so what is the posting and what is the purpose of postings now how to do that i'll tell you that so come to front office cashier operations so here you can get the screen postings so just double click on the postings so the screen will be open see and this is the posting screen so here you can see that a number of fields is there so it is called tariff plan charge package paid out allowance miscellaneous receipts advance refund and global charge so these are the fields we have in the posting screens so why we are using is apart from the check-ins so all other charges should be we are maintaining from the posting screen the first is tariff and tariff suppose if you want to uh, uh, any changes on the tariff so once you've done the change list info so that will be confirmed from the tariff screen so here we have the options like individual as well as all so we can post it all the rooms also in the same time suppose if you want to do for particular room you have to click individual room and uh, charge so here if we are going to do the charge or allowance for the tariff so based on that we have to select the fields like charge or allowance so here we have to press f1 we can get the room number suppose we want to so we have confirmed as 6000 in that uh, change list info so we have to reconfirm here enter and save so same like the plan also and after the charge so apart from the tariff and plan so we have to do the charges suppose if any other charges for that uh, concern room so we have to maintain from the charge screen so from here suppose for mini bar or otherwise gym or otherwise uh, spa so whatever things so that should be come from the charges so based on that suppose if it is a uh, gym we have to select and select the room number so it should be no there is no hsn code so we have to put the hsn code from the revenue head so after that it will be given so we have to select the room number so how much we are going to charge so next we have to enter the descriptions and make it save so if you want to print out we have to get the printed also and this is the way we are going to charge and after the package suppose if you have any other special package for that guest so we have to made from the made from here so we have a like a, we have a masters also package terms so from there it will be created so you have to select the room number and we can post the package and same like the paid out so if you want to give any paid out for that uh, guest so you have to do from the paid out here so this paid out is so suppose the guest has come from through any taxi or cab or any auto so they are cutting the charge uh, from the front office people so that time we had to do the paid out so it will be collect from the time of checkout and allowance so if you want to do any allowance from the same revenue head so that will come from the allowance so once the bill has done from that uh, point of sale for the previous day so that will be has to give allowance for the same head so that will be come from here postings allowance so this will be reduced from the concern revenue head and miscellaneous so miscellaneous means what that is the non-resident guest so this will be used for the non-resident guest so who are not in the room so for example the guest has coming for the restaurant so he has consuming like a wi-fi or any uh, swimming pool so that has to be charged so it, it is a chargeable means that has to be charged that it has to be come from miscellaneous so from here i have to select the uh, chargeable head and you have to enter the gross amount and make it save so what is the description so you have to enter the descriptions and receipts so receipts normally basically we are using for that advanced part either it is a reservation advance or room advance so based on that we have to do the advance here so if it is a reservation means you have to select the reservations and you have to select the reservation number from here so you have to select the reservation number and if it is which mode they are going to pay so based on that you have to select the mode so with the help of f1 key and after that enter the amount and make it save so this is for the reservation advance suppose if it is a in-house advance like walking advance is there and after checking also they are giving some advance after two days three days so that is the room advance so we have to click on the room and you have to select the room number so which room number we are going to post the advance and select so which way they are going to pay either cash or card so if it is a card means you have to select the card number and uh, card mode 
then you have to put the advance how much they are going to pay and after that select the folio so which card is SBA card or what are the cards we have in that uh, hotel so that card you have to select and after that descriptions and card number four digit number or either 16 digit number and make it save so like this way you have to make a receipt and advance refund suppose the booking has cancelled so they need a refund so how we can do suppose if you are doing to refund or we can make it refund see reservation number so they have char they have given us 7840 okay so 7840 so if you are going to give refund 7840 otherwise you are giving some reducing on uh, cancellation policy suppose i am giving for only 4000 means that remaining 3000 should be had come for retention amount this is one of the revenue from the cancellation booking and enter the descriptions retention amount and make it save this we have to do the advance if you have to select the reservation number and uh, select the refund amount how much you are going to give and attention amount will become and after that you have to enter the descriptions and finally you have to make it save so like this is the way we are doing the advance refund so these are the fields we are using from the posting screens like tariff plan charge package paid out allowance miscellaneous receipts and once refund that's it thank you